Hey, hey. What's going on, Knife Nerds? I've got the Kunwu Chad here. I'm going to do a disassembly and reassembly video. I want to see what makes this knife so good. The action, the deployment is nice, the fit and finish, super solid. No give, no shaky shakes, no sounds. Centered. Yeah. Let's take this guy apart. T8's all around, except for the crossbar button or whatever this thing's going to be called. That's a T6. All right, so let's start with the clip. So my model just happens to have the pivot on the clip side for righties. Um, only one pivot screw. I would rather have two pivot screws just so then I can attack both sides independently of each other if I needed to do any adjustments or any maintenance. I just find that a bit more efficient and easy on the user. But it's not too bad. I'm already used to it. All right, cool. Man, I love, love, love T8s. So much easier to deal with. So to get this scale off, you actually have to take this button off, the crossbar switch. I guess let's just call it a switch. <laughs> Is it a button? T8s, T T8s, T6. All right, so this thing, bam. See that? So that tab comes off. Then you can lift the scale off. It's pretty simple. I wonder if they were to do some milling cuts to relieve some weight. I don't know if it needs it. It feels very balanced. But um, if they wanted to make it lighter, they could. Just extra cost, I guess. Very clean. Good milling. No frays or anything that I can see. Yeah. So now if I wanted to get over here, I have to take this whole thing apart, which is what I kind of don't like about crossbars except for the new uh, new ones that utilize two pivot screws on each side so then I can take them off independently, but oh, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so spring off. So this spring's a little different. It just sits in there. It doesn't, it doesn't actually like hook in like the other ones. This one just, you can kind of just sit it in and then the cover goes on it. All right, next, let's wipe some of this oil off. This piece comes off. See that? So make, be careful. You don't want to lose that stuff. So let's put it all together. All right. Good. See that? So now this comes off easily. Easy. Easy, easy. All right, so look, pretty basic build, guys. Take this blade off. Yeah. See the reflectiveness of it? It's pretty cool. It's a fingerprint magnet, though. side off should push this pivot out so right now I don't really need to take this whole thing apart but why not let's show you guys everything all right let's organize real quick actually I need to get the scale off You know, one thing about working in the morning or recording in the morning, <laughs> everybody's doing stuff in the morning too. Construction work, landscaping, whatnot. So excuse the background sounds. I like to have my, my sliding door open to, to get some light, to get some, um, just so that when I talk, the sounds don't reflect back into me. It just feels less echoey and like re reverberation 
Alright, so next. Let's get these off. Let's get over here. Yeah, so quite a few pieces. Let's wipe this down real quick while I have it out. Stop pin. Good work. Clean. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just keep this the screws to one side so I don't mix things up. Okay, that's for the clip. You can tell that it's for the clip because it's kind of shallow. It's a little short, stubby, shallow one. This one's a little skinny. So I'm going to assume that one's for the button, this guy. All right. Nice and organized. All right. There it is. So it's quite a quite a lot of pieces for for just this uh, this knife right here. Not too bad though. All right, guys, ready? Let's go. Let's start with. I think I need to start with this piece. I kept that on. I was kind of lazy to take it off. But you guys know you don't know what to do by now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I want to get this side settled first put the scale on and then I can start getting the other sides back on. Now if it were independent pivot screws, I wouldn't need to do all this. I'd just do one side, put it back on, put the other take the other side off, put it back on. Alright, so put that spring on. Oh, this thing looks gunky. Bring on top. Don't put it underneath, okay? Make sure it's on top. If you go underneath, yeah, you're gonna have issues, a lot of rubbing, it's not gonna be smooth, you might have weird sounds. There we go. So it's gonna be kind of floppy like this because <laughs> there's nothing really holding down this this uh, crossbar. So just leave it like that, then get the side on. It'll, the pressure will keep it down. Oops. Let's get that back on. Get up there. Okay. There. Okay. Bam. So now the pressure from the scales making that straight. Let's go ahead and put on the, the call, the spacers, the barrel spacers. All right. Yeah, I really like having T8s all around. You don't have to think about swapping screwdrivers all right boom it's good to go next let's go ahead and put on this cover okay. oh man Actually, we just put it in there without this stick. And then, let's put the stick in. Yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> hey, new method. Okay, let's get this bar button on. So I'm still pretty new at this stuff, so you're gonna see me fumble. I'm gonna put my finger here to keep the pressure so it doesn't fall out again. Good. 
So I guess that's a new method. You can just try to put on the button with the spring and then put that the crossbar in when you're putting that on. Next, pivot. It's D shape, so pay attention. The flat ends right here for me, facing down. All right, next is the washer, or bearing, I mean. I'm gonna wipe this down. Okay. Stop pin. I'll deal with this clip screw later. I don't want to turn it upside down and everything is fall out. Okay, make sure it's clean. Boom. Slides right on. If you want, you can kind of pull the, the lock back like that just to give it some room to move. And you might feel that it's kind of not in properly, but that's because you notice there's a slight slant that's what's kind of creating the the lock making things so sturdy and no sh no loose movements uh, no left and right up and down blade play it's because that thing is at a slant the further it pushes up the tighter it gets so when you put it on right now it might not feel like it fits right but it does all right so next step the other bearing liner. Now I like to pull this back just to check the fit. Good. So once this bar is in and pushed up, this blade shouldn't be closing down on you, so it's uh, pretty safe. Next is that little cap thingy. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is actually a pretty pretty easy piece to, to put together and take apart. Um, it wasn't difficult at all. Compared to other um, crossbar locks where you have to use a tool um, to kind of be a placeholder for the pivot, this one I don't have to worry too much about. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this scale on and Ready to go to work? <laughs> I'll put this on last. Let me um, secure the scales on real quick. Six. It would be great if this thing was also a T8. That'd be pretty cool. But the screw is a bit more slender and thin for the button and the crossbar. So I'm, I'm not surprised. Here we go, guys. Basically done. Probably loosen it up a bit. Let's get this clip on. I was going to try the wire clip, but nah, I'm going to keep it with this for now. I'm not too into wire clips. Alright, so there it is, guys. Wow, I didn't really have to adjust much. Centered. No play. Yeah, I didn't even have to adjust it. This can after uh, cleaning it up, taking it apart, putting it back together, this thing is perfect. Just like the way it came out the box. I like it. What do you guys think? This thing's a beast. Alright, have a good one.